If you happen to store your videos up in Google Drive, maybe some things that you've created for yourself, one of the things that you may want to do eventually is add some subtitles. Sometimes subtitles can be pretty expensive to dole out to another company to do for you. Sometimes it takes that extra expertise and programming. But I'm going to show you a really easy way to go ahead and add some subtitles to your videos directly right from inside of Google Drive with something as simple as a text editor that you may have on your computer already. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the things that I have here is my introduction to Drive Snippet and it's just a little bit of a video that I recorded and I'm just going to double click on that just to show you what it looks like. You'll notice that there is no subtitles here at the bottom so what we want to do is go ahead and add those. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and close this up for right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom of my screen in the lower left and I'm going to go to my program button here, my start button, and I'm just going to open Notepad. So with a simple text editor, and I usually use Notepad, what I want to do is go ahead and create just a simple little bit of text to go ahead and start giving the subtitle some body. So to start off what I want to do is I'm just going to do the number one and you're going to follow me pretty much exactly here. Then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to do zero colon, a couple more zeros, colon, and another couple zeros as a start time for where I want this caption to begin. I'm going to do one space, I'm going to do dash, dash, and then a greater than sign, another space, and then I'm going to enter those zeros again. I'm going to do my end time for when I want my caption to stop. So we'll say we want the first one to stop at 8 seconds. Then I'm going to hit enter and now I'm going to enter what I want as my actual caption. Just say that I'm in my Google Mail account screen here. And I've already looked at this video just to kind of get a little bit of an idea of where I want those captions to be. I'm going to hit enter, enter again, and now I'm going to enter the second caption. We're going to follow this same type of pattern here where we're going to go ahead and enter the zeros, colon, zero, zero, colon, and this time I'm going to do 15 seconds to start, space, a couple of dashes, my arrow sign or my greater than sign, another space, zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, colon, and I want this to end at approximately the 24 second mark. And I'm going to add my text here of what I want my caption to be. And here I am in my Google Drive interface. I'm just going to go back and capitalize my D there. So the first frame I'm going to start off in, I'm going to be in my mail screen. Here I am in my Google Mail account screen. Then I'm going to have it transition to the next caption. Here I am in my Google Drive interface. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to click on File. And I'm going to Save As. I'm going to just save this to my desktop because I want it to be easy to get to. And I'm just going to rename this. And we'll just name this as Subtitles. And I'm going to click on save. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my drive video. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go up to the top to my details button. Select that. Underneath details tabs I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go down to the bottom and down near the bottom you'll notice that it has this caption tracks option. I'm going to click on the pencil it brings up our other dialog box here and I'm going to go ahead and add a new caption or transcript. Select that. I'm going to select my file that I just entered. and I'm going to go to my desktop. Here it is. Open. And we'll just name this Subtitles. You do have the option of selecting what type of language you would like it to be translated to. In this case I'm just going to leave it as English and click on upload. It's automatically uploaded that file. If I hover over it, it allows me to go ahead and edit this. I can download it again 
and I can delete it if I would like to and add some new ones or some different ones. I'm going to click on done and now I'm just going to close out of our box here and let's go back to our video and have a preview of it. So you'll notice that right away you'll see at the very bottom of my screen here I am in my Google Mail account screen and then at about the 8 second mark it's going to end at the 15 second mark it's going to pick right back up and there's my second caption here I am in my Google Drive interface so that's just a quick way for you to be able to add captions to any of the videos that you may have in your Google Drive and make something a little bit more fun a little bit more interesting